beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine and today I'm going to be doing yet another review on the Urban Decay heat palette y'all um it's I know this is probably the millionth review you've seen thus far but it's okay come back c come back don't go don't go anywhere because I'm gonna give you an honest very honest review y'all number one I love the packaging it's nice and story the unicorn is pretty I love it of course you slide it out like this and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. And it kind of is etched out, kind of like 3D almost. So you could feel the letters. It's not etched in. I love it. And then it pops out like this. And then you have this, which I love. <laughs> I heat. <laughs> I love it. So you're left with this. And then it's this gorgeous uh, orangey color. And here you have the shades beautiful with the um the brush it comes with and you get one two three four five five shimmers and then the rest are matte and of course it comes with a mirror don't don't judge the it, anyway you get my point but um just want to show you and I'm not going to bore you with the swatches and whatnot because I've tested this palette out and I used it once already and I love it. I just want to get on here and just wave about how great the product is. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I love it. So, I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. Don't look, come just go with it, okay? Just go with it. And, um, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, and then now I'm going to go into Cayenne, which is this color right here, and I'm going to build up, I'm going to build on it, and just take this brush, like this, and I'm going to start in my hour crease right here, and just work my way out. I start with a circular motion, and then as I'm working my way in, I do the windshield wiping motion. And as I'm working my way out, I'd circular. That's so weird, but that's just how my process is. I'm sorry, but that's how I, I like it done. Okay, gonna do it back in one more time. Do the same thing when chill wiper blend it out. Blend it out. And it blends so well, like it's, like it feels like butter. Like I'm not lying, like this cayenne, it's, let me see if I can, is it so lighting? Yeah, it, it, it's like butter, it's great. And I think I'm gonna just go with a simple look here. We're not gonna do too much. You know, this ember, I believe is how you pronounce it. Oh my god. That's just one swipe. Then I'm gonna go down. And God, that's so gorgeous. Okay, now I wanna build it up a little bit more. Now we're gonna go to Heat Devil, which is this one right here. We're gonna stick that in the middle and we're gonna just windshield wipe that. I think I'm gonna do a cut crease, like a like a little natural looking cut crease. Nothing too big. I 
And then my viewfinder, I look like nothing is blended out that way. Next. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today I'm going to be doing yet another review on the Urban Decay heat palette, y'all. Um it's I know this is probably the millionth review you've seen thus far but it's okay come back c come back don't go don't go anywhere because i'm gonna give you an honest very honest review y'all number one i love the packaging it's nice and story the unicorn is pretty i love it of course you slide it out like this and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. And it kind of is etched out, kind of like 3D almost. So you could feel the letters. It's not etched in. I love it. And then it pops out like this. And then you have this, which I love. <laughs> I heat. <laughs> I love it. So you're left with this. And then it's this gorgeous uh, orangey color. And here you have the shades beautiful with the um the brush it comes with and you get one two three four five five shimmers and then the rest are matte and of course it comes with a mirror don't don't judge the anyway you get my point but um just want to show you and I'm not going to bore you with the swatches and whatnot because I've tested this palette out and I used it once already and I love it. I just want to get on here and just wave about how great the product is. It's like, I know a lot of you guys I love it. So I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to look and just go with it, okay? Just go with it. And, um,. Hope you guys enjoy. And as you can see, I'm baking because I, I, the order I do my face is I do like everything. Like I do my face bake up until this point. Eyeshadow, dust everything off. Eyes and then cheeks. Like highlighting is the very last thing I do. But um, so we're here now. We're just gonna get right into the video. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm smoothing out any creases that I have. Let's let's do the now. Clean my hands off. Okay. And all of these have names on them. Okay. All these have names, so I'm gonna take a just a basic blending brush and I'm going to go into low blue right here and I'm just going to blend that into my crease just get it going and as you can see it's my um, skin tone color but that's okay that's okay <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just a sucker for, like, I like to put, I don't know, I just like to put colors that are, like, matches my skin and put it on just, I don't know, just to have a base down, like, just base it all up. I'm actually going to put that on my entire eyelid. Okay, and then now I'm going to go into Cayenne, which is this color right here, and I'm going to build up, I'm going to build on it, and just take this brush, like this, and I'm going to start in my outer crease right here, and just work my way out. I start with a circular motion, and then as I'm working, 
my way in I do the windshield wiping motion and as I'm working my way out I circular that's so weird but that's just how my process is I'm sorry but that's how I, I like it done okay gonna dip back in there one more time do the same thing windshield wiper blend it out blend it out And it blends so well like it's like it feels like butter like I'm not lying like this cayenne it's let me see if I can is it so I yeah it, it, it's like butter it's great and I think I'm gonna just go with a simple look here we're not gonna do too much you know, this ember, I believe is how you pronounce it. Oh my god. That's just one swipe. Then I'm gonna go down. And God, that's so gorgeous. Okay, now I wanna build it up a little bit more. Now we're gonna go to Heat Devil, which is this one right here. We're gonna stick that in the middle and we're gonna just windshield wipe that. I think I'm gonna do a cut crease, like a like a little natural looking cut crease. Nothing too big. You know my viewfinder, I look like nothing's blended out that well. Take this little guy right here, this guy right here, and I think I'm going to just go into Ashes, which is this purple, purplish brown color. Go into that and just let's see here. Perfect, like it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Sketch out my crease here. And now I'm going to go back into my blending brush and I'm just going to blend this out. I'm going to mainly blend it in my outer V. Just do that so I can and keep this in and just so I can have a, um, is that a little guide. We're not going to forget about it. It's gonna come back to it. Run that out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a separate packing brush, which is bigger. <laughs> it's it's quite longer and bigger um, than the previous one I used and I'm going to use this and I'm going to go into um, low blow which is this warm color right here this tan looking color I'm going to coat this on the entire brush like that and I'm going to set this concealer in place with this go back to our crease color which is cayenne and I want to tap the excess also like that and go back and 
and it's also a really really good way of covering up any harsh lines and making it look a little bit more natural and it kind of gives it a um a more of a softer look which is no no When I was tapping it off, I accidentally put a little cayenne over here and, and ashes. But it'll be alright. Blend that black out. Okay. Let's complete the look. Okay, I am gonna go back. Let's, let's step that, that off. I'm going to go back into ashes and just dab like one, two times. And then the outer corner right here, just like that. To get back some of that darkness I had on the edge, which is what I wanted. One, two. And then do the other side. You know, just bring back. It's not enough official like harsh cut crease is just something a little cute and simple to do especially for beginners so and now I think I'm gonna go into Infugo which is this color right here um like a um, a burgundy maybe a burgundy color I'm gonna go into that and Go about midway. And I, <laughs> not like when I use shimmers, I typically don't use brushes because I just like my fingers better. And I'm going to go into Scorched, which is this pretty color. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, wait. You gotta be able to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Scorch. I'm just gonna take my finger and just like that. I'm gonna put it mainly in the middle, but I'm gonna go out like that and take the remainder or what's left of my finger and just smudge it all the way to where my line is And I'm going to go back into that blending brush and I'm going to go right back into low blow and kind of just pat some more in there. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come right back to you with my final review. Okay guys, I'm, I'm finished with my face and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this palette and honest to god guys i love it i love it so much and it, it's it's of course if you've owned anything out of the NECA series before you will know that it's great quality it's amazing um the formula is pretty good it's um it's very consistent with the previous products which i, I admire that and they're very pigmented of course with any good eyeshadows you get full out but that doesn't bother me either you do your eyeshadow before you do your face or you bake it, it just doesn't bother me at all so I like that about them um I love the packaging I think that's what it sold me so much with the packaging it's so pretty and it is a it's a good palette. If this, if you are looking to get it, get it. Especially if you are a fan of Urban Decay and the Naked series, get it. Hey, I hope 
you guys enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up if you like it comment if you liked it or if you don't like it comment anyway um thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it please 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 subscribe subscribe come on subscribe please like do it like do it please and so that's it bye love you guys Mwah.